We realized that a lot of Cantonese opera troops in the past used to be nomadic, that these troops tended to uh, travel in these boats that also had double-decker beds, similar to the kind of capsule hotel concept. That kind of led to our brand story in terms of how we thought about the hotel. Hi, I'm Kenneth. Hi, I'm Felicia. And we're both partners at Quarters Architects. Ju Capsule Hotel is housed within a conserved historical shop house. It's four stories and the capsule is on the first, second and third stories of this shop house. The hotel is located along Smith Street, which is a busy but pedestrianized tourist street. Some key attractions around the area include the Chinatown Complex Food Center and the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. Ju Capsule comes from the word Ju Yuan, which is a Chinese word for theatre. It's named like this because there is a historical Cantonese opera theatre housed along Smith Street, which is also where Ju Capsule Hotel is located. The logo for Ju is actually the Chinese character called Ju. We worked that into the overall logo type and it's in a sage green, which is the colour accent used for the whole hotel. You will also notice that the top of the logo has this arch because that kind of mirrors the design language which is used for the capsule bits. To give the building a facelift, what we did was to paint the entire facade white as well as to install building signage that would lead people towards Ju Capsule Hotel. Well, as you enter the lobby on level one, on your right you'll see some self-check-in kiosks where guests can obtain their hotel key card. After collecting the card, you can then proceed to level two. So once you get out of the lift on level two, you will see shoe lockers. Each of them are itemized based on your card number. With that same access card, you can enter through the glass door. Some of the key features in the communal lounge include a large communal table where people can sit down and dine. At the end of this is a quartz countertop at which staff can assist guests. There's also a pantry which has features like fridges, microwave, water dispenser and a sink. One corner of the Level 2 lounge features a tea pavilion where there's a low black wooden table as well as some cushions. It's a very cosy space, just encourages people to relax when you first enter the hotel. We also found inspiration in the terms of the design from traditional oriental types of pavilions where people are encouraged to sit very low to the ground. This language of overlapping lines was chosen because this harkens back to the Cantonese opera stages which were often temporary and made from wooden members that were tied together with lashings. We incorporated this design language into a few areas, including the screen on level 1 as you enter into the self-check-in kiosk area, some of the motifs that are being used on the class. The linear metal structure was designed with the overlapping design motif in mind as well. It runs all the way across to the other side where a house reel cabinet is housed. Stepping into the bathroom, the first thing that you will see would be the vanity mirror, backgrounded by these sage green tiles that we use as a feature wall. As we design the bathrooms to be unisex in nature, every single cubicle is fully equipped with a WC and shower facilities as well. So throughout the hotel and in, within the rooms, our team also created artworks inspired by the characters and environments and landscapes of Chinese and Cantonese opera. When you think of Capsule Hotel, you may have a reference in mind that feels very cold or sterile. So that was something we wanted to avoid. So what we did was to keep the material palette very neutral, with pale light woods that feel very calming. The whole ambient lighting was set up in the rooms so that it feels a little bit dim. So looking at the facade of the capsule, you will notice that we've designed a continuous grid of sage green lines which outline the structure of the beds. Each capsule bed is fully equipped with amenities such as a TV that folds out, um, individual locker that's lockable using your access card, hooks for your clothing, um, as well as a blind that you can lower for privacy.
There are also double beds in the hotel, and these come equipped with double the number of charging points. This capsule will be perfect for couples, and it offers a lot more space than the single capsule. Just outside of the capsule beds are a series of lockers in which guests can house their baggage and belongings. So they can use their same key card in order to access these lockers. You will see a laundromat on the left and seating area on the right. We designed a timber screen behind the seating area to give privacy to the dresser that's behind it. This timber screen is in the same design language that carries through the entire hotel. We designed a wall of custom carpentry on the left to house the washing machine as well as the dryers. Um, they recess in, so it's flush the whole way. There are also shelvings on the right for people to put their laundry baskets. After doing your laundry, you can then use the iron which is hidden in the swing compartment to do your ironing. There are also spaces on the right for you to sit and rest. Behind the feature screen is a dressing table inspired by what the Cantonese opera performers use, which is a briefcase that opens up to reveal a mirror and the makeup tools. We were really happy that we got to delve into the history of Cantonese opera and bring that to life in Ju Capsule Hotel. I think we also enjoy projects where we are able to design immersive experiences where we go not just from the interior spatial experience but also into branding graphics. Thanks for staying till the end. Now, if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you'll get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your design space featured, feel free to drop us an email in the description down below.